the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Spirit. Good morning. Thank you for daring to be here. And thank you, especially thanks to the Miller family for making sure the Mass is live streamed. Thank you for all of you joining online this snow day. As we come together this Tuesday morning, Mardi Gras, a day we prepare to enter into the Lenten journey, the Ash Wednesday, we call to mind all the blessings of our life, the gift of our family and friends, the gift of all those who are there when we are in need. Bring all of them to God's presence, asking God's blessings for them. And we take ownership for our shortcomings, the poor choices we made. So we pray, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to the everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, Grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. When the Lord saw how great was man's wickedness on earth and how no desire that his heart conceived was ever anything but evil, he regretted that he had made man on the earth and his heart was grieved. So the Lord said, I will wipe out from the earth the men who I have created and not only the men, but also the beasts and the creeping things and the birds of the air, for I am sorry that I made them. But Noah found favor with the Lord. Then the Lord said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and all your household, for you alone in this age have I found to be truly just. Of every clean animal, take with you seven pairs, a male and its mate, and of the unclean animals, one pair, a male and its mate. Likewise, of every clean bird of the air, seven pairs, a male and a female and of all the unclean birds, one pair, a male and a female. Thus you will keep their issue alive over all the earth. Seven days from now I will bring rain down on the earth for forty days and forty nights. And so I will wipe out from the surface of the earth every moving creature that I have made. Noah did just as the Lord had commanded him. As soon as the seven days were over, the waters of the flood came upon the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Give to the Lord your sons of God. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Adore the Lord in holy attire. The Lord, the Lord will, bless will bless his, his people, people with, peace. with peace. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. 
the Lord over vast waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The Lord, the Lord will bless, bless his, his people with, with peace. peace. The God of glory thunders, and in his temple all say glory. The Lord is enthroned above the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord, the Lord will bless his people with peace. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The disciples had forgotten to bring bread and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. Jesus enjoined them, Watch out, God, against the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. They concluded among themselves that it was because they had no bread. When he became aware of this, he said to them, why do you conclude that it is because you have no bread? Do you not yet understand or comprehend? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and not see, ears and not hear? And do you not remember when I broke the five loaves for the five thousand how many wicker baskets full of fragments you picked up? They answered him, Twelve. When I broke the seven loaves for the four thousand, how many full baskets of fragments did you pick up? They answered him, Seven. He said to them, Do you still not understand the gospel of the Lord? to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you again for being here and joining us online. We come together this sixth week and we continue to meditate the way God intervenes in our life. We all might be able to recall that our experiences so far either make us pessimistic or help us to become hopeful person. And it all depends what we learn from our own experiences. The apostles had multiple experiences that Jesus would take care of them, not just them, everyone who is with him. Still they are afraid about what they forgot to bring with them, the bread. And so Gospel today asks us the same question. Do you not yet understand and comprehend? Most probably all of us could look back and see how miraculously we survived the things. How Impossible things became possible in our own little life and yet we fail to trust in the Lord who helped us to walk through. And so today church invites you and me to look into our life and learn from our own life how God would protect and guide and help us to win. Let us pray. Merciful Father, we thank you for the gift of our life in this day. Thank you for all that we are and we have. We come to you trusting in your love and providence and protection. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all the leaders of the church, 
all the leaders of our country that they all be in your protection we pray to the lord lord we pray for all those who are sick and hospitalized all those who are struggling with various health conditions that they all be in your comfort and consolation we pray to the lord lord we pray for all those who are struggling with this cold weather especially all those who are homeless that they all be in your care and love we pray to the lord lord we pray for each one of us that this day we may have the grace to know and to believe you are with us and you will help us to survive we pray to the lord let us pray in silence for our personal intentions gracious father we offer all these prayers and those that are in the silence of our hearts trusting in your love help us to trust help us to know you are with us always and you are for us always we ask this through christ our lord amen blessed are you lord god of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer for you the fruit of the earth and work of human hands this will become the bread of our life Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we owe for you the fruit of wine work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink wash me lord from all my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins My dear sisters and brothers pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice from my hand and for the praise and glory of his name for all good and good of all his church amen may this oblation o lord we pray cleanse and renew us and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you lift up your hearts let us give thanks to the lord our god it is it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and every word to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the redeemer to live like us in all things but sin so that you might love in us what you loved in your son by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience and so lord with all the angels and saints we to give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and uh, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and uh, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Stephen our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Concordia Tripit, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Remember also our parents, brothers, sisters and children who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died. In your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be choirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look, not on our sins, but on the faith of this your church, and graciously grant them the healing and peace and hope. In accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the body and blood of Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ will bring eternal life to us, to all those who receive it. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Pray, having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you so much for being here and joining us online. Be safe. Tomorrow is the 
Ash Wednesday it's a day of fasting and abstinence if your health permits. And let us begin this Lenten journey in a intensity of love and hope of in God's mercy. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you this day and all the days of your life in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This mass is ended. Let us go and hope in the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have a blessed day. Thank you.